your first look at the season six finale of True Blood and some major spoilers. Before I tell you what to expect in the finale, take a look at the intense new promo. There are Roman bands of sick and hunger vampires out there, and they on the march. You have the opportunity to make this right. But I can. We're going in heavy. And there ain't no other way. Yes, that was definitely some type of wedding ceremony that you saw Warlow setting up for, and that's because we will see Sookie consider her future with Warlow. Whether or not she becomes a vampire fairy bride is still up in the air. One thing is for sure, if you look closely, not only does she reunite with Jason on Sunday, but you also see him carrying her, and subsequently you see Sookie drinking someone's blood. What does it mean though? All I know for sure is that the first half of the episode will focus on Suki and a quote, less patient Warlow. Hmm. I wish I had more of an answer, but at least it's something, right? Speaking of Jason, expect him to sense a vampire attraction firsthand. Could this have anything to do with all that blood of Eric's he drank in Sunday's episode? Well, showrunner Brian Buckner did confirm a hot scene featuring Eric in the finale. He told EW.com, quote, Eric has one sexy and provocative scene. There's definitely something for the ladies and the gay men. We might see a certain body part. As for Bill, he will learn that salvation comes with a hefty price tag, and Bonton as a whole will brace itself when a new crisis threatens both the humans and the vampires. This being said, it looks like Jason, Andy, and Bill all team up to take on whatever this new catastrophe may be. In terms of Tara and Pam, I don't know too much, but I do see Tara's mom seemingly cradling her daughter and crying. That doesn't look good. Also, you guys, look for a major time jump in the second half of the episode, which I hear will help set up season seven. I like it. I've been a big fan of this whole entire season, and I will definitely be watching. The season six finale of True Blood airs this Sunday, August 18th on HBO. In the meantime, let's have some fun what are your predictions and what are your theories? Will Sookie go through with Warlow's wedding wishes or will she have a change of heart? Is there any hope left for a reunion between her and Eric? I still think that there is. And what's in store for Bill's future? Let me know what you think, let's be friends and talk it out, and then make sure you subscribe for all the latest TV scoop on shows just like True Blood. In Hollywood, I'm Katie Krause, and I will see you back here next time. Wait, before you go, it's shout out time. You guys were commenting a lot on our last promo of True Blood, episode nine. Stephanie Rocha said, I do hope Eric does save his loved ones. I also hope Sookie saves Eric in a roundabout way. She doesn't need to be with Warlow, she needs to be with Eric. If she should be turned, she can still be Eric's wife and not Warlow's. Good point. And then Kitta Floor one said, honestly, I am hoping Sookie does not become a vampire. It would defeat the point of the story and her attraction. As for Eric, I hope he saves the day, which I am confident he will. If Sookie ends up with anyone, it has to be Eric. Team Eric, all the way. And lastly, finally, Eduardo Lanes said she should be a fairy vampire. So you guys, don't forget, let me know what you're thinking, comment, subscribe. That's the most important thing. Subscribe and thumbs up this video. I'll see you later, bye.